Wow. It's a tough lamb. <laughs> Not a tough lamb. I'm just a bit weak. <laughs> G'day, welcome to Chef's Favourite. I'm James Grass, and today we're at the Fairmont Waterfront to meet my good old pal, Chef Adam Middleton. Chef Adam is the executive chef of the Ark Restaurant. He's been tasked with rejuvenating the menu and putting this incredible rooftop herb garden to work. I think we're in for a bit of a treat today. Come with me and let's go meet Chef Adam. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, good nice to see you. Buddy. See you too, man. This is going to be a little bit of fun. Oh yeah. So the new menu has yep. just started. Just started. And today we're making a dish from the new menu. Yeah. It's a sung old lamb with salsa verde, carrot puree, smashed pingling potatoes, olives through there, some caraway seeds. A real puncher of a dish. Yeah. Like we got beautiful sung old lamb. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lamb. If you don't like lamb. You're gonna love this. Oh wow! If you love lamb, you're gonna love it even more. Like Welsh lamb is amazing, Canadian lamb, eh? New Zealand lambs, okay. But this Canadian lamb from Alberta, Sun Gold lamb, is beautiful. Really? Melt in the mouth, deliciousness. Wow! Awesome. That sounds absolutely phenomenal. It's gonna be. All right. It's gonna be good. <laughs> so what do we need to do to get started here? Well, you got a French racket. I get to French racket. Yeah. Okay. So run me through. <laughs> What's the okay. tips here? So. We're gonna score every single bone on the bone. Only halfway down? Just to the line where you're making here. Okay. You score it all the way down, and then you flip it, and you're gonna push through the bones. Every single bone you're gonna push on through. Oh, you, okay. I'll do choppy choppy, you do the hard part. Okay. Sound good? I'll do my best. Sweet. Just, just be careful. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself. Now, you're from the UK originally. From a funny little town called like Essex on Sussex on no. Worcestershire or? Burton on Trent. Burton on Trent. Burton on Trent. It's right in the right. middle of the country. Right in the middle. It's a, it's a brewing town. Our football club's called the Brewers. The we Brewers. Make, we make beer, and we have factories. So as you can imagine, I didn't stay around long. I it's a pretty, done. pretty working class <laughs> town. Yeah, super working class. We had the biggest Toyota factory in the world. There. Had. There might be a bigger one. Wow. There. What year did you leave the UK to come to Canada? Ooh. 16, 17 years ago now? Right on. 17 years ago. Ran away, came to Canada, and met you. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. We had a doozy of a time. We lived together for about six months. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah. And then you stayed around Canada for what, another two years after that? Yeah, sure. About a year and a half, two years. Yeah. And then I got dragged back to England. Right. As the story goes. Yeah. Met a girl. She said, I want to go to London. I was like, never been. I'm from the Midlands. I don't like London. Had you never actually been? Never been there. Actually never. never been to London? Never, never, until I went there. And then I stayed there for 17 years. Wow. So we stayed there for a long time. It was a good home for a long yeah. time. Wow. Yeah, wow. Is it, is, it, is it good to go? Can I start pushing it? Yeah, oh, you gotta really go for it. You see how it's coming up there? Yeah. Hold it down tight. Oh, and then you just kind of clean the bone after? Yeah. Okay, and then I do the same thing with this one. Yeah. Wow, it's a tough lamb. <laughs> Not a tough lamb, I'm yeah. just a bit weaker. Few moments later. So when people often say like, I don't like lamb, it's generally the smell of the sheath and the fat, yeah, right? Yeah, well, it's the gaminess people don't like. That they complain is gamey. Right. And the gaminess is, is it can be numerous of things. What it's fed on and how it lives and the way it goes about its life yeah. makes it taste. It's like anything. If you rush me, if you freeze me, it's gonna deteriorate. Right. This has never been frozen. It's fresh from Alberta. Comes on in and we're good to go. So, and I guess as well that some people might think they're eating lamb, but maybe they're actually eating mutton. Yeah, that is a big problem that happens. And mutton is an older sheep. Yeah. A more mature sheep. Way older, way older, way more mature. You see this bit down here? It's like a thing that goes in there. Yeah. See that guy? Yeah. You're going to go along here. And just trim him out. See all this here? Yep. Break it up. Yeah. Pull the sheath. Then go all the way along here. Okay. Knife. It's a little long cut. Do I need to cut that bit? Yeah, go for it. Make your life easy. That is a nice knife. 
think. Yeah, I got this from a Wagyu convention. A Wagyu convention? A Wagyu convention. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Look what I did. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch your fingers, bro. It's okay, it's okay. The bone's there. That's what the bone's for. Now, can you eat those bits? Yeah, yeah. eat you. By all this lot we use for the start of the new zoo, which we made before because it would take us a couple of days if we did it today. <laughs> so this is kind of the old school way of doing it. It's a lot easier than pushing the bone through. We go up and down, up I and down. I feel like this down. bone's about to pop through anyway. Yes. Yeah. You can try the last one, see how you get on. Nah. <laughs> you moved to London after having lived in the UK, but never having been to London. Oh, yeah. And yeah. what happens next? Do you go work in some cool restaurants? Did you go back to Starbucks? What happened? Definitely next? not Starbucks. I found the bug of kitchens, like that adrenaline, that fun, that, that excitement of kitchens. And I was like, I'm not giving this up. Okay. So you know, originally you, know, we, you go around lots of different jobs to start with when you begin cooking, hotels to start with. Then I switched to really good restaurants, really good restaurants in London. So Italian, French, um, classic modern European places, old school cooking, but solid in and, all these places. And your training was in French and Italian? Yeah, so started in French and then moved a little bit into kind of modern European. And then we kind of topped it off with a big stint in a restaurant called Bocca de Lupo. They make, we made everything from scratch, like bread, salami, the full works. Oh, wow. And that place taught me a lot. It was high volume, busy, small kitchens. And that was a super fun, stressful time. It was good, really good. Enjoyed that a lot. The last place that you worked at after that yeah. was a pretty special restaurant group, right? Corbin yeah. and King? Jeremy King and Chris Corbin. They're legends of London restaurant world. Okay. These guys are like the godfathers of restaurateurs in London. Really? They, they, they are the kings. Jeremy, he is everything I want to be in life. <laughs> everything. As a restaurateur? As a restaurateur. Like wow. his, his vision and his attention to detail, every detail mattered, mm. everything. That was, that was the key takeaway. Wow. Care about everything and you're good. That's the key thing, care about everything. That was it. And so yeah. that brings us to here, you bring that experience yeah. to the Fairmont Waterfront and the Arc Restaurant. Yeah. Pretty special uh, opportunity here, huh? It is. This is the second iteration of the restaurant, whole new menu, the whole building, in-room dining, the full works. Yeah. So it's a whole new life being brought into it. Super exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Now we had a little walk earlier up to the rooftop. Oh yeah. And I saw that you have a gorgeous rooftop herb garden. Yes. Are any of the herbs that we're using in this fancy dish today from the garden? These fine herbs. Oh, the rosemary. Yes. Ah. Yes, we, we're only using them in the jus. Liven it up, give it a little bit of a kick, and then we'll pass it through a chinois later. So this this guy will be the, the jus for the lamp. Wow. Yeah. Look how thick it is. Yeah. Yum. We'll loosen up a little bit, got a bit thick, but this rosemary, just a little stirrer. It'll be good to go. We'll be okay, alive. Okay, cool. We'll be alive. Okay, so the rosemary's from the garden. Yeah. What else you got up there? Beehives. We got yep. honey up there. You make your own honey here at Ark? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we got four beehives upstairs and they produce around 200 pounds a year. And then we got offsite beehives, which we sponsor as well. And we have more honey from there as well. Wow. It's awesome. Do we have any to try? Oh yeah. Okay. Give me a sec. Feel, feel how heavy that guy is. It's full of honey. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. You gotta try some. There you go. Try that guy. Delicious stuff. Oh. Good. Okay. Got it everywhere. Drips down your face. Delicious. We partner with Wayward Distillery to make our own gin. So we give them honey. They infuse the gin with it, and it's like a honey gin just for us. And that's on Vancouver Island, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. You know, yeah. it'd probably be rude of us not to try some. Ooh, let me get some. Hang on. Okay. The only way we can drink it though is have a chef's cup. Oh, is this the chef? This is a chef's cup. Any chef who doesn't drink out of beaker, I don't know what they're doing. No idea. So, here we go. Let's have a little bit, get warmed up. Chef's cup. It's a beautiful little bottle, right? This feels so weird smelling <laughs> this beautiful gin out of a plastic tub. It's the only way to drink it in the kitchen. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the honeybees. Oh, Cheers yeah. to Wayward Distillery. Oh, yeah. It's fresh. That was a big shot. <laughs> that was more than once. Yeah, you got to go slowly. That's absolutely <laughs> delicious. Now, 
If I recall correctly, we were talking at one point about the cocktail that we're going to have with this oh, yeah. is made with this gin. Yeah, it is called a flaming gimlet. Got it. Yeah, we'll try it later when we do uh, it's lamb. Can't wait. But we gotta get cracking. Like we got lots of stuff to stop do. Stop drinking. Stop drinking like, around. Let's, let's get rid of the honeycomb. Let's get rid of all this crap and let's go. Come on. That was fun. Okay, chef. So I think I've done a pretty spectacular job Frenching and Beautiful. portioning the lamb rack. Yep. Which I did all by myself, of oh, course. Oh yes, all by yourself. Yep. What do you need me to do next? Do the carrots. Get the spuds cooking. And I'm gonna finish the salsa verde, and then we're gonna bring it all together. Amazing. Then we're done. All right. Cool. Do I peel the potatoes? No, we're just gonna chuck them in. Uh, we'll get a pot of water on. Chuck the spuds in, get some salt in there. I'm just gonna do a few spuds. Then we'll get that on the bullseye and get it going. The that, juice, juice, that's what you call this, the bullseye? Yeah, classic French top, red high in the middle. As you go around the edges, it dies down a bit. Okay, and then what else do we need done? So carrots, we need to give them a wash, and then we're gonna take off the tops, keep them for later. We're just gonna peel them. Okay, these are some beautiful carrots. Oh yeah. Everything we try and source as local as possible. All our produce pretty much is from within Canada. Yeah. Our meat and fish, all our fish is ocean-wise certified. And all our meat, we get, it's all Canadian. It's all got a good story behind it, all from great Canadian farms. Great, great products. Yum. I need to toast off some caraway seeds to start. The caraway seeds are wicked here. Try one of these little guys. Don't get mistaken for cumin. They're super tasty. A nice little punch to it. Oh. Yeah. Well, That's a little punch. Yeah. Smell that as we're toasting it. And sorry, the caraway seeds? Caraway seeds. And you're going to toast them here? Yep, we're going to toast them. Then we'll add the cream, add the carrots. Slowly cook until the carrots are soft. And we'll blend it all up. Yum. Yeah. Okay. So as we toast them off, we're going to put a splash of cream in. Do you have some favorite suppliers that you use here? For our meat, obviously we've got Sun Gold. But they don't spice direct. So we go through Legends. Legends uh, Hall? Yeah, Legends Hall. Absolutely wonderful. What a bunch of legends. They are. They I really love those are. guys. <laughs> they really are good. Our fish supply, we just changed up recently. Yeah. We're using a guy called Hook and Herd. Hook and Herd? Hook and Herd. That's a fun name. No one really knows about this guy yet. Stanley who owns Hook and Herd. He split from Blundell's and started his own company called Hook and Herd. Yeah. And anything you want, you can find. Wow. And our ice cream. Oh, we have to eat ice cream later. Actually, not ice cream, gelato. Gelato. Gotta get that right. So our new gelato supplier. We got a um, Motoretto down the road. Guy called Sal. He has got the other place over at the casino, below the casino. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna butcher it. Passionet. Yeah. Passionet gelato. Yeah, I know the one. Yeah, yeah. I actually live right near there. Yeah. They're always busy. They're always gonna line up. They do great stuff. Just, so that's, is. would you call that your favorite gelato in the city? That's gonna be my favorite gelato in the city for wow. sure. Wow. Yeah. Like his BC blueberry gelato, oh Stupid, my God. Huh? It's great. And his, we got the salt caramel we'll try later. That is stupendous. It is delicious. Sounds like we're going to be eating pretty good here, Chef. Well, we'll have some ice cream and some lamb and we'll be good. Are we going tasty. on a date? Are we dating so. right now? Is Can we? A date? That'd be nice. That's fun. <laughs> I think these carrots are looking pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm yeah. going to go give them a rinse. All right. And then I'm going to go find that gimlet. Go for it. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Have fun. Infamous flaming gimlet. Yeah, something like that. And this is the one using the the gin, the the house-made honey gin. Yeah. Yum. Very intimidating. Fire. Oh, Whoa, there we go. That'll get the people going, huh? Oh yeah. Beauty. Wow. Awesome. Ooh. Delicioso. Cheers, chef. Cheers, cheers. This uh, flaming rosemary gimlet, Ooh. gorgeous. The presentation. Yeah. And that is quite delicious. That's fresh. Remind me, what do we have in front of us? We've got the carrot puree with those beautiful caraway seeds. Then you got the roast potatoes, olives, lamb. Then you got all the lovely little chunks of crispy olive. You should eat it. Okay. It's cold. What are you doing? Oh, that's. Dude. That's, they're French for a reason. That's that's way better. Now, once they're French, you gotta get, dip it and go. Mm. Oh, I love lamb. Oh yeah. Oh, keep dipping. Is that kind of the trick? I think so. I always find it a lot easier. 
no matter what it is. <laughs> a real traditionalist. Yeah. Mm. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm gonna use knife and fork now for the potatoes. That's uh, uh, responsible of you. I love mm. the little crispy flex on it. Yeah. That caraway really sneaks through in the carrot puree, yeah? Yeah. Now, obviously we're right in the heart of downtown. There's a lot of restaurants uh, in the neighborhood, mm. uh, but you guys are working on something special. What else can we expect from, uh, from Arc this summer? Our menu is gonna be seasonal led. You know, we change the menu four to five times a year. Okay. This is the big one we've done. This menu will last a good couple of months. But we've got a great crab dish, Dungeness crab on the starter. We've got great heirloom tomato seasons kicking in soon. A courgette flower from upstairs is gonna be ready in probably two months. What are you gonna do with those courgette flowers? Stuff them. With? Anchovy, anchovies. anchovy, and mozzarella. Whoa. Oh yeah, so open them up, take out a little thing, anchovy, mozzarella inside, tie them up, temper them, deep fry them. We like that. Dirty. Yum. Delicious, delicious. Ark is also quite famous for the brunch menu on Sundays. Is that still going? Yeah, so our brunch menu is all you can eat. It's about 15 dishes. Some big, like, great waffle and fried chicken with pineapple salsa on it. For my French background, we've got these great buckwheat crepes, which we stuff with cheese and ham and uh, roll them. Uh, and stick a fried egg on top. Stop it. But I know what you're gonna like the most. Go it's on. It's a mini croissant bacon cheeseburger. Let's go. <laughs> it's really? like this little, like this big mini croissant. And inside you got a bacon and cheese burger. That was actually made for me. Is mm. that fair? That's yeah. a fair comment, right? Or oh, there's a big one on the normal menu. I really got a big Bertha. Wow. Tell me some more of your favorites around Vancouver because that's what oh. the show is called, Chef's Favorite. If you wanted to take your beautiful wife out for dinner, yep. where's your favorite spot for a date night? So we've been here two years. When we first arrived, we went everywhere, tried everything. Went Kisatanto, Annalena, everywhere possible. We had grandma babysitting, which was awesome. So then we kind of settled down and now we go out every few weeks. Um, Bao Bay is one of my favorites. Bao Bay? Bao Bay. Great, solid cooking, mm. super tasty, and great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to understand, the food is only 30, 40% of the whole experience. Like, we can serve you great food, but it's a whole experience in matters. I think Bao Bay's got it down. Wow. You're a coffee guy. Yep. You like good coffee. What's your favorite coffee? Well, we did a little stint at Nemesis before coming here. Okay. And their coffee's great. Yeah. So Nemesis for coffee. Yeah, definitely. What about a late night cocktail? You finished a big shift here at Arc. Where do you like to go for a cheeky cocktail? One, I can go across the road to the... Lion's Pub? Lion's Pub. Yeah. Great Guinness. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I like to sneak in there. Yeah. It's great. But if I'm closer to home, Bartholomew downtown, by like Yale Town Way, Great little long bar, lots of little booths. Sexy room too. Really nice. Mm. Great, great room. Yeah. I think that the Lions Pub has mm. some of the best chicken wings in Vancouver. Ooh. So, yeah. my question for you is, if you have a chicken wing, do you like flats or drums? Drums. You're a drums guy. Mm. See, we're compatible, I, I, I'm a flat. I haven't I'm figured flats. out how to pull that bone out yet. Ah. I watched someone do it all the other day, I was like, wow, that's magic. Yeah, should we that's have good. another crack? Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Mm. Mm. So soft. All right, so good. Mm. Vancouver's home to some of the most incredible global cuisines. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan of Indian food. My favorite so far is Swad. 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 Over West Fanway. Okay. You know, it's a bit of a trek. Yeah. But it's worth it. What's your Please. favorite dish if you were to go down? They do this amazing, crunchy, semi-spicy cauliflower, mm. coated like a batter. Delicious. I've got two questions. You have to have one cuisine for the rest of your life. That's easy. Easy, Italian. See, it's easy, it's Italian. It's Italian. And then the final question, mm. I'm always so curious about this question. Your last meal before we shoot you into space to oh. open a restaurant on Mars, and you're never coming back. There's so much to eat. Yeah, but you got one. Something simple. Yeah. Great clams, yeah. great spaghetti, done. Yum. Delicious, and starter. Scottish extra large langoustines, grilled on a open fire, brushed with really wet gremolata with a slice of lemon. Like 12 of them. Wow. That's it. It's a hell of a way to go to space. That'd be beautiful. With a good case of gout. Oh yeah. And with that, that's all we've got time for. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Chef's Favorite. Chef Adam Middleton, we're at Arc at the Fairmont Waterfront. I'm James Grass, this is Chef's Favorite. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, 
Tell your friends, tell your family, tell whoever you want. Come and check out Ark and Chef's favorite. Thank you very much. Cheers, Chef. Cheers. <laughs>